Hello, this is Woodland Edge Garden. The last time I gave you a garden update was in June. So, few things happened in the garden for the last couple of months. And I have been quite busy um, around and about. Uh, so, if I refer to the vegetables this year, I have been very pleased with tomatoes. Uh, I've got two types of tomatoes. It's one is Garden Nurse Delight and some other one is something like beef tomatoes. Um, Potatoes, I got 20, 20 25 pots of uh, Charlotte tomato uh, potatoes and, um, sorry, I'm just being annoyed by my dog <laughs> very much. Sorry, I am back. I have two type of potatoes, uh, Charlotte potatoes and Mary Spider potatoes. The Charlotte potatoes were quite small, which was very nice for um, um, potato salad. I haven't checked the uh, Mary's Pipers yet. Uh, other things, uh, onion, spring onion was lovely. I was very pleased. Uh, lettuce, mm, kind of okay. Uh, just a little salad uh, lettuce is not the big uh, iceberg lettuce or something like that. Forget about it. Cabbage, cabbage, uh, red cabbage is still growing. Uh, we have very funny weather, so I'm not sure if it's going to be ready by 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 end of this year. We'll see. It is currently covered with a net to protect from carrot flies and other other things. Um, this is gardener's life. What else I had? Um, radish. I don't know something wrong with the seeds. I tried a spinach. Had a little spinach chard. It's all gone. Um, um, herbs. Sage is beautiful every year. It's coming back. Mint as usual. But um, but one of the things I'm very proud of and I'm very pleased with is uh, fruits and vegetables. Uh, for example, fruits. My very favourite one is um, fig. We got a fig tree, and this year we had few figs, but last year we had much bigger and a lot. This year they look a lot smaller and a little bit less, but is still a success. Um, strawberries I've got in hanging pots. I've got about six or seven hanging pots uh, of strawberries. They were a lot and delicious. Um, they're all gone obviously, fortunately. Other fruits we have, as we have very limited uh, space to grow everything I would like or most of the things I would like so these are the two main ones um, and then flowers flowers are just beautiful and this year it was very pleasing uh, gladiolus uh, hydrangea um, sweet pea uh, dahlias Tulips, obviously, the 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 beginning of the season. Uh, Foxgloves, uh, hollyhock, only few. So, in nutshell, is these things happen? I have few weeks ago. I seeded few mustard, uh, lettuce, spring onion, as is my favourite, spinach, 
and I'll, I'll show it to you in, uh, in this episode. Recently, I have started to eat uh, less and less meat and more and more vegetables. I'm not vegan or vegetarian, obviously, but I'm trying to avoid meat as much as I can for a few years now. Uh, success with success and obviously not so much but I'm trying uh, last week I ordered from uh, online uh, it's a whole food it's not an advertisement purposes anything like that I just would like to show you what I I ordered and and why but uh, before I show you what I ordered uh, please look at the video and see what's happening and what's happened uh, in the garden. I was back where I began. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Leave open the gate. Don't turn off the light, I'm coming home As you can see, I have a pool of soil here. Um, I'm going to give it a go and plant some mustard, lettuce, of course, that won't be any problem. Onion, I'm not so sure, but I'll give it a go. And spinach. I also thinking about chard. But I'm not so sure. Anyway, I'll give it a go and let's see what it's going to be like. Turn off the light, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nothing is as it seems in the photo. Nothing is as sweet going so long. Change my mind Could slow 
show you the seedlings or uh, the seeds I um, sown on the 12th of August lettuce this is the lettuce I was talking about they are still quite small so still growing this is the another one still growing in cross progress spinach as you can see one two three almost nothing and mustard was very uh, good it grew within two days and is edible and it's got spicy spicy leaves so again lettuce lettuce and and spring onion which were, I was I was very excited about and um, they're growing quite nicely uh, radish is the other failure I can see only one two three here and there and the other one as well so I don't know if the soil is not good for them or it, it it seeds or I don't know as you can see I keep them indoor we got these um, conservatory so we keep them indoor the reason is because the slugs and other things and the weather is not so good either so as you can see this is the the outcome so I'm very excited to show you these items. I haven't seen it myself. I know what I ordered. Um, let me open it and try to. So, okay. so nicely packed. So the first thing I was very keen to order it was soya beans. Soya beans is um, is one one kilogram of soya beans, and I would like to make a tofu, homemade tofu, and it's very simple, and I'm sure it's much more tastier than shop or tofu and recently I bought it in one of the major supermarkets and I the way I prepared it um, it was so delicious and it was like almost like eating meat 
and um, yeah, it was fine. Another thing I ordered, which I never ate before, it's called it radish seeds of sprouting. So these are the seeds, and uh, there's a certain method um, to make a sprout, and it's coming from United States. So I've never had these things before, but um, as I've seen on fellow YouTubers, oh, looks really delicious. And there's two other things I ordered for a treat. It's one is a chocolate, raw chocolate, call it raw chocolate company. Um, as it says, coffee couple. A sweetened white coconut blossom sugar. Oh, it must be nice. And the other one is the same, it's silky coconut, which I love coconut. So. I'm sure they both gonna be lovely. I don't really recently I don't I reduce sugar as much as I can. So just nat natural sugar. Obviously not smitten and stuff and like that. So these are the four items I ordered and I'm very excited and I can't wait to make my own truffle and my own sprout so and treat myself with this lovely uh, coconut chocolate. Okay, so this is for this week um, episode. Next week is going to be a very exciting episode as I went to London last week. And I will we'll go again on the 2nd of September. It's also a very exciting episode. So until then, see you in my next episode. Bye!